Okay, so for those of you that have the cross disc cutter or any other cutter for for just sake of argument here, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a template for punching crosses out of pennies. So you get two pieces, you'll get that, and then you get the little cutout too, which those are cute, so you can attach those to... Um, Solder those onto your pieces if you'd like. So what this is going to allow you to do is to keep the cross centered in the penny every single time. So if you bought the disc cutter from me, you know that I sent you an aluminum uh, blank template. And what you're going to do, and I'll do this, try and do this vertically so you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting it in there and I'm lining it up flush on one side and I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to mark right along the edges along these two edges and I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this out with my mini bandsaw but you can use a jeweler saw Dremel with a cutting wheel whatever works easiest for you I did this all in steps to save time so this video doesn't get too terribly long. So now we have our piece and we're going to put it back in here and make sure you put some lubrication on the cutting die and then you're going to punch out a cross out of the template. So make sure the template is even all the way around. And then you're going to punch that out. You're going to punch that cross out using a hydraulic press. 6 ton, 12 ton, 20 ton. I have a 20 ton. Um, you're going to punch that out. So what you're going to have now is a template with a cross cut out of it. Then you can... You can trace a penny around if you want. If you have a circle disc cutter, you can use the three quarters inch punch to make a circle. So let me put that in there. So what you're gonna do, mine is pretty beat up. I'm gonna put that in there. Let's make sure I get it in there so I can get that centered. Center it in there. Okay, you can see where it's centered. If it's not perfectly centered, you may want to trim off a little bit of one side to get it a little bit closer, or you know, try to put it in a different direction. You probably try and put it in a different direction just so you get it as centered in there as possible, okay? Then, now it's not gonna be even on every side because this particular temp template was made just for this cutter here. So center it in there, put your, your cutting die there. You're going to go back to your press and you're going to punch out the hole. And what that's going to give you is this here, okay? The three quarters hole punch is slightly smaller than a penny. So what I did is I took a bit on my Dremel and I just went around and around and around. You can do it even with sandpaper if you want. It's gonna take you longer. And I'm all about doing things fast, so I always use power tools. I went around here several times until the penny fit just right. Now you want the penny snug. That way it won't shift on you every single time. If you need to tap that in with the rubber mallet, that's fine. So now your penny is going to be centered every single time you put it into your cross cutter. So you're going to slip it into the cross cutter. 
Make sure you always slip it in the exact same way every single time. Okay, make sure the penny is right underneath that smallest one there. You're going to put your cutting die back down in there. You're going to go back to the hydraulic press and you're going to punch out. And what you're going to end up with is this. Okay? And it will be centered in your penny every single time in the same place.